Okay, what I'm doing now, I'm opening the the powder kit, the black powder kit. Inside there is the three components that you need in their actual measured amounts. Right. There's our potassium nitrate. There is um, this is enough to make one kg batch. So, uh, sulfur. That's the binder to the starch to, to glue it all together. Oh, this stuff is so flippin' dusty. Dusty. To do that, um, let me put two cups of filter water in there. Two by 250 milliliters, so that's two cups, 500 milliliters in total. I'll start warming that up. Oops, that one. Right, what Andre and I are doing, we're making a batch of, I think, close to one kilo of um, black powder. This is the CIA method. Yeah, we've got all our components um, in measured out bags, sort of like a kit form. There's the charcoal, um, potassium nitrate, sulfur, and um, dectrin. That's... that's an optional one, but I enjoy putting it in because it makes uh, the pucks nice and hard and it grinds pretty clean without um, without reducing the whole lot to very fine powder. So I do use that. Um, to that, I'm going to add the potassium nitrate and I'm going to stir it, mix it down to a saturated solution. And then after that is all dissolved in the two cups of water, then we can start adding the other components, the sulfur, the charcoal, and the dectrin. We're going to leave it there, and we'll come back to you a little bit later. Right, now we've got our potassium nitrate in our two cups of water, and we're just um, stirring it, trying to stir it a little gently. I don't want uh, things to go crazy on me. Sorry, um, sometimes it goes out of screen, but uh, shit happens. Anyway, that will dissolve into a saturated solution. And then we add our charcoal. We add our sulfur. And we add our dextran. And then we'll come back to you once that has all been boiling away for a little bit. So it is now at the point where it's all sort of getting wet. Just keep it going slow. It will start blobbing and like boiling very slowly. I, I sort of call it like swamp mud, you know. Um, but all done very slowly, guys. Please, I'm not taking any responsibility for any mistakes or injuries. Or Don't forget this stuff is volatile um, I'm not saying it'll go up as it is wet now but the stuff um, if if your flame hits a dry spot on the pot on the sides anything like that it's just it's gonna be a big problem because it will it will actually burn like this it, it won't burn effectively but it will it will burn so you're gonna have very little time to take this outside um, if you look at it, it looks quite glossy. You can still see the actual um, potassium nitrate. I'm sort of crystallizing on the surface. 
that indicates to me that there's exactly the right amount of water in here. You need a saturated solution. You don't want it. You don't want more water. Otherwise, when you um, when you wring it out, you're going to lose too much water, uh, too much chemicals. So we don't want to lose anything, if at all possible. So you can see it's starting to blob. Just keep mixing for about 10 minutes or so. We just want to get everything nicely combined. You don't see any little sulfur blobs or or anything in here. Um, just like to slow it down a slight bit more. Okay, the next step. Um, what we're going to do after we've done this for about oh, 10 minutes or so um, just get the whole lot boiling then we're going to take it out and to this we're going to add exactly the same amount of icy 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 alcohol I use acetone um, alcohol that's been in a deep freeze two cups no more exactly the same amount as the water two cups of acetone frozen minus 20 degrees and uh, then you'll see the reaction it makes and um, I'm just guessing that it's because of that reaction that you, you know the sudden cooling of this lot that it actually becomes very very volatile it makes very very good black powder actually cleaner and faster than than any that I've ever used um, you put these side by side with others and you'll actually see what black powder should be like. Um, nowadays, with all the wars and stuff in in Europe, it's um, getting more and more difficult to get any sort of reloading components. Um, we found we had to even um, manufacture our own caps, percussion caps, with the compound that we worked on. It's also on YouTube, so nothing is hidden but I'm just going to stop this here um, because I think it's had enough heat and then um, I'm going to um, I'm going to just give it like two minutes just to stop boiling and then I'm going to come back to you when I add the cold alcohol okay now I add two cups of alcohol um, the same amount of, of as the water that we added previously but look at what happens here it immediately there's a as you cool it so instantly it immediately causes a reaction and the stuff goes like I don't know popcorn I suppose it just flares up and I think it's this that the shock of, of cooling down this boiling mixture so instantly that um, I think it's that that causes it to actually be effective. I honestly do. Now I seem to think this has been shocked into into what should be a good black powder. Okay, it's lost its heat, so. We are where we need to be. Now we just um, strain this through a piece of muslin. Uh, it shouldn't be much that comes out of it, but mostly it's um, it's really just um, I'd say acetone. Um, you don't get much water out of it, which is a good thing because your your chemicals are dissolved into the water, so you want to retain as much of that in you as you can. You wouldn't say that's a kilo of black powder, huh? Thank you. I'm going to come back to you now. Okay, now this is a consistency of this stuff. You can see it's quite thick and, and gloopy. So we just pour it out in here. Well, I wouldn't say pour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. There's no pouring there. Yeah. That's more like... More mud. like porridge. And mud. Mud. Yeah. Like the stuff you use on your face. 
face mask. Yeah. Come on, get out there. There's a flipping marble in the middle of this thing. Look at it. <laughs> uh, check it out. Okay, successful indeed. Now what we do with this? I don't know how. So we um. You've been sick. What we do with this, we dry it. Um, even if we've got to dry it under warm lights or in a very, very slow cooker on um, a piece of oven paper. And um, after we've done that, after it's totally dry, we put it in the ball mill again with lead balls for overnight, more than 24 hours. And then after that, um, we puck it into pucks and we try and, and push it to about between 15 and 20 tons. We never actually a, a, a reach that pressure, but definitely 10, 11 tons. And we puck it and then we leave it again to dry. And then after that, we'll grind it in a, a coffee mill. To, um, and obviously screen it to its different sizes but as you can see there's not a lot of alcohol coming out and the good thing is it isn't crystallizing so it shows that this is just alcohol there's no there's no um, um, uh, chemicals in there that we put in so we're just wringing out the the alcohol and once we've done that that's about it um we'll try and get back to you maybe another video with regard to the packing of it but i i have done a video there and um that's what it turns out to thank you very much